ძირითადი მოხსენებები ამით ამ მოიწურა დადგა დისკუსიების დრო and so it hyped on for this discussion. But before we start this discussion, we have two short presentations. Regrettably, these presentations were registered a little bit later, and, uh, but we still have to, that they are very expedient, will be expedient to register them. Again, with Ukraine, Crimea and Ukrainian cultural heritage by Russian occupation. Dimochko and Kravchuk are the speakers, and please keep your speech in timeliness. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very glad to be uh, here in your conference, and I apologize for the uh, my. Uh, uh, un, uh, uh, on timetable uh, time because uh, we uh, take a notice about this con conference just uh, a week ago. So uh, I, uh, I bring you our uh, little book about our presentation, our, uh, our work uh, during the last, uh, uh, last year. Uh, in, uh, in uh, with uh, uh, with uh, Crimean problems uh, and uh, uh, a little ex explain about our working group. Uh, we are uh, two uh, jurists. This is uh, uh, Sergei Makrinyuk and uh, uh, Maxim Timochko, and uh, I'm an, uh, uh, I'm archaeologist. Uh, I'm archaeologist who worked in Crimea. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, we gathered and uh, document uh, and uh, pointed out all of uh, uh, all of uh, uh, violation of uh, Crimea uh, of uh, uh, heritage, uh, cultural her heritage in Crimea during this time and uh, uh, have some conclusion about it. Uh, the influence uh, of the occup occupying power on the culture of Crimea takes uh, place in two directions. First and uh, foremost, uh, these are ideological projects uh, aimed uh, at uh, combining Crimea with the history of the Russian Empire since the time of Catherine the Second. And the second is the uh, uh, relocation of uh, movable cultural heritage things. Russian museums are presented as Kunz camera for the best uh, uh, possible presentation, uh, preservation uh, of the values and all of territories of the Russian federations. Uh, because uh, in the place where uh, these things were found, uh, they don't uh, even know uh, how to present them or uh, interpret it. However, the archaeological heritage in, in the Crimea is now involved in two main areas. The first is ideological, aimed at creating of Russian myth. And the second is excavation, which takes place in, uh, uh, in connection with the rapid uh, piece of uh, creation of new military infrastructure and uh, construction of new strategic facilities. The rest of the archaeological projects are the result of the Russian corruption system, when these who are closer to the power have the opportunity to push uh, their own project into the state program. Uh, in current situation, Russian museum and scientific institution use the, move, the moment for get new things for their archives and exhibitions as well as a scientific uh, fact for research. In general, Russian scientists uh, consider the excavation in the Crimea as earning. Some of them uh, don't neglect uh, uh, plagiarism in their work without appropriate uh, reference uh, to the source, our source. 
the situation with landscape uh, transformation in Tauric Chersonesos, where economic activity is incompatible with the status of preserve, is most boring. The site is using for public events, placing on the site of the Roman citadel, the remains of which are associated with the presence of the military power of the Roman Empire in Taurica, a, a large uh, battle stage with uh, modern equipment for uh, theater performances and rows of uh, seats for spectators. Uh, a new Starburst was opened uh, there last year. Very interesting uh, fact. Uh, currently, no excavations are being carried out. The soil is, be, uh, is being removed from this territory, which the supervisor calls uh, displaced and not important for science. However, local activities, including the former workers, find in this soil many things related to the time of being of Chersonesus. If it was nothing that uh, even the uh, recited soil from the old archaeological depths, according to the modern methods, should be shifted as it uh, contains many finds. Working with an excavator market with a UNESCO, within the UNESCO World Heritage Site is a crime. Uh, the so-called restoration of the Bakhtisarai place belongs to the same category of violation. And wrote of the reader, most of the violations according, uh, uh, occurred uh, during the cons uh, construction of the Tarida Highway, where most uh, of the archaeological sites were bulldozered without archaeological research. Only a small part was excavated by archaeologists. However, these excavations cannot be called good. Uh, often the leaders of, excavate, uh, of expeditions and uh, uh, their parts were low-skilled museum workers or even NGO who had no experience in Crimea and in Crimea archaeological sites. The level of uh, publication of research, of, of research results in uh, Russian Academy of Science publication is also low. This is very briefly about our work. And uh, if you want to see our recommendation and gathering and documenting of, uh, of such violation, you can see uh, the, the text which I put to the chat. Thank you very much. And now the speaker. And now the speaker. Graphic Golden. She is Pennsylvania University Archaeological and Anthropology Museum. So heritage uh, legacy. He has experience. He has experience how cultural. Uh, heritage is protected and what uh, answers might be existing to the challenges. Please. Hello, everyone, and thank you for having me today. Uh, first, I want to extend thanks to Manana Tevzadze for including me in today's program. Uh, I'm very glad to be here with you all. In 2019, I traveled to Tbilisi to conduct ethnographic research about cultural heritage in the occupied territories of Georgia. And while there, I spoke to academics, civil servants, policymakers, and community members about their experiences of conflict and displacement, their efforts to document heritage destruction in the occupied territories, and the challenges they face in the, production, in the protection of cultural heritage in the occupied territories given their lack of physical access. I learned of creative responses to these challenges in efforts to document damage, to garner international support and reconnect with lost heritage in face of occupation and lack of reliable up-to-date information streams. 
I also learned about community interventions designed to maintain cultural ties to heritage sites and to bring together families that had experienced displacement through their connection to shared heritage. I would like to offer reflections from this project focused on two themes, mobilizing knowledge production and orientations to the future. First takeaway is that scholarly knowledge production about cultural heritage in Georgia is not only documenting the damage from afar, but doing important work by refuting the terms of occupation itself. The systematic damage to cultural heritage sites in the occupied territories is carried out through unprofessional restoration projects, through unsanctioned excavations and new development projects. These processes establish heritage as a place where claims to the territories are validated. And responses to these processes, Georgians work on her cultural heritage, therefore acts to defend Georgian borders and validates the state's land claims. It grounds national identity narratives, it fosters community among displaced people, and ingrains the importance of the occupied territories to Georgia in the minds of young people. It also acts to forge connections with those still living in the occupied territories and as a mechanism of self-determination, affirming personal histories and ties to ancestral homelands in the face of cultural erasure. Outside of the academic and policy spheres, displaced community members also use cultural heritage in innovative ways, namely to imagine potential futures and reconnect with homelands that cannot be physically accessed in current conditions. Cultural heritage has become an outlet for action and an, a source of ongoing hope. By collaborating on awareness raising efforts, rebuilding new versions of inaccessible cultural heritage sites, and creating educational programming for younger generations of displaced families, community members can share a sense of loss over cultural heritage with, another, with one another and situate their longing to return. The development of new community spaces and religious sites outside of the occupied territories creates material access to the past that is otherwise cut off during the conflict. And these projects allow displaced Georgians to imagine potential fut futures by bringing together a community of worship, practicing traditional rituals, and imagining their ancestral homelands. In my work with academic and governmental professionals and with community members alike, I found cultural heritage to emerge as a domain where creative projects are undertaken to maintain ties to the occupied territories, create spaces for community and forge new connections. And with that, I will return it to our moderator today. Thank you. Now we can uh, get to the discussion. So we are lagging behind in terms of schedule and we should compactly so ask the questions. Mariam Didi Bulidze, Chubinashvili Center, may I ask the question? So thank you very much. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Firstly, to Rustaveli Foundation that this program was uh, separated as the uh, program related to the occupied territories, cultural heritage problems that we have the opportunity of scientific work and a lot of thanks to every participant and organizer. So I would like to say so I would like to uh, uh, agree with Zaza that we are in very unequal combat. So, and what we can list, what can be done. So, for this, we need huge financial resources. The Russian scientists who are uh, creating disinformation science, they are in, uh, in the advantageous position international. They participate in international conferences. They publish the books in every language. They have the contacts with everyone. I don't know. So we don't have this opportunity. So of course, uh, we do many things, but so the dissemination, the proper dissemination of this is very important. A lot of thanks to our international participants, Professor so, Mr. Daniel, uh, Emma, Emma conflict uh, that she, they set the certain ways only stating what is happening 
is not suffice. However, this is also necessary. But what can be done? Such thing was said that we have to uh, negotiate with the opposing party. It is impossible. Russia is not interested that to retain something for you, to retain your trace, so your memory. Why they should agree with you? Why they should negotiate with you? They say that Georgians don't have any, nothing in common with this territory. They will not agree to negotiations. Either somebody should intimidate them, so an international community may have this opportunity, or they are not uh, leaning, they are not tending uh, so towards the uh, agreement. So like uh, we will protect the international heritage, we have more opportunity to enter in contact with our Abkhazian session colleagues. And far as I know, they are quite eager because they have absolutely no right. So, but they will not be allowed to, to collaborate with us. So to, to describe something together, to work on something together. And what was offered to us by Mr. Daniels, I think it's very good. So the uh, signing of the agreement, with the US within the framework of this program when they will undertake to help us that what we cannot do so to do it simply so this is the dissemination of information be it the organizing of international events so like make them see see what is happening i think that what mr daniels uh, offered so the steps and the appropriate so actions seems to me quite realistic. So we have developed this program. So we are writing so that we have to translate international scientific research dissemination, creation of new so what we have done during the war, but then this disappeared from the internet, creation of websites. So on the grounds of the proper uh, knowledge which have been gathered in Chubinashvili Center so for a long time. Also Leo Cheolishvili's books translation or Leo Shervashidze's book translation in English at least. So this many direction in terms of the translation, creation of the new scientific will, we don't have access right now to this, but we have plenty of material to publish something important and the fast respond so to immediately disseminate something. They said something, for example, so that so on this level then they say something we respond with our materials so the older generation of Chubinishvili center they have done a lot and in in the six in the uh, so in the uh, end of 60s mr Chubinishvili's book was ready and but it was published hardly at the end of the 1980s it was very difficult in the Soviet period, everything was blocked, so it was prepared a long time ago, what should have been happening, what should have been transpired, what should have transpired, so the active usage, what we have in our hands. So widening and the offer again, as Mr. Daniels mentioned, very interesting steps that have been offered. So realization of the steps are important. So, and we would like to ask our international guests what Emma has said today, that photo information or visual information or providing a different form. So we should have it to be always in the know and not like that somebody uh, our friend arrived and brought us information we should not stay on this level and those who work on abkhazia and every be dear leah so chairman sharia or the others who arrived from abkhazia who try not to lose the contacts from there and from there to receive the information i would like to offer my thanks to this i don't want to be very lengthy but is this is well it should be articulated well and this conference will provide more and more advanced the main thing is to curb the destruction of everything there who else wants
I have a question. I represent the organization of Hazeti Muambe, but I am the invited researcher. Um, I would like to address a question to our Ukrainian colleagues, for example, uh, Madam uh, Ablia Limova. Uh, as Mr. Zaza mentioned, Zaza Tsotniashvili mentioned, we are facing a, a very active cyber war when it comes to cultural heritage located in occupied territories. So I'm curious, I assume that there is the same situation in Ukraine. So what is the strategy of Ukraine toward this problem and how you deal with it? Thank you. Thank you for your question. Zalian, did you have a question? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, thank you for your question. Uh, of course, the first uh, task is monitoring the situation in the in your in your territory, of course, because we must we have to document in all these violations about illegal archaeological excavation, about uh, export of museum items, about the so-called restoration works and another violations, of course, about appropriations of our cultural heritage or museum building or something else. And uh, now in Ukraine, you know, uh, maybe you are aware, we, uh, the government decided to uh, organize this special platform about Crimean, uh, Crimean uh, question. It's named the Crimean platform. And uh, we, the experts in different uh, sphere, we organize in a special expert platform near this. We are not uh, Ganga, we are independent from uh, the government, uh, but we uh, uh, give them the analyzed document, doc 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 uh, documentation about the situation in Crimea, in sphere of human rights, in sphere of cultural heritage, in sphere of education, in sphere of uh, health, for example. Uh, and this, I, 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 I think that is the good way to um, to. Um, share information about our situation to international community it's first it, it is first second i mean we this uh, uh uh, this conference is the opportunity to unite our efforts in, in order to protect uh, protect uh, uh, cultural uh, heritage uh, in our territory and uh, uh, to have a strongly voice in uh, uh, our international community uh, to our partners in Europe to uh, United States of America and other uh, stakeholder in this sphere to in, in order to protect our cultural heritage of, of course this is my uh, my my thoughts thank you thank you sir any other questions or somebody would like to uh, say their opinion okay if we don't have questions by this we will finish the uh, we can uh, stay close to today's work a lot of thanks to the speakers to the attendees those who ask questions and express their opinion and tomorrow we will continue our work thank you very much see you tomorrow